Hi, my name is Caroline, founder of Equitopia. In this video, we examine the potential benefits and uses of thermographic imaging as a guiding tool for further diagnostics. We interviewed Dr. Maria Socorro, co-author of Equine Thermography in Practice, who highlights some of these uses based on her research. Infrared thermography, it is a diagnostic uh, imaging tool which detects infrared radiation, providing a representation of body surface temperature distribution. Infrared radiation is emitted by all objects with a temperature above absolute zero, according to the black body radiation law. A thermographic camera, also called an infrared camera or thermal imaging camera, is a device that forms a heat zone image using infrared radiation. Thermography it is a great diagnostic tool in veterinary medicine, which can be helpful to diagnose many different injuries. Diagnosing subclinical inflammation, quick localizing the injury, monitoring the healing process, uh, identification of compensation effect, and also in subtle fit. Thermography is at least 10 times more sensitive than palpitation by human hands in detecting temperature changes. It is highly sensitive to superficial temperature changes that may indicate inflammatory vascular or, or neurological disorders or physiological responses to changing environmental conditions. Once we have recorded uh, thermographic images on a memory card, then we interpret the images using the software. The result of a thermographic examination is called a thermogram, which creates a graphical temperature distribution map of the body surface area. The color bars on the side of the screen illustrates the temperature pattern, with the white, red, and yellow colors being warm and moving down towards the cooler temperatures, represented in blue and black. Normal body surface temperature distribution depends on anatomical structures, subcontinuous tissue, muscle tissue, and a hair coat. In interpretation of thermographic images, we compare symmetrical parts of the body. So we always have to make sure that we take the images uh, of both sides of a horse. The coldest areas in a, in a horse are represented in the distal part of the limb. So to the carpus and tarsus, going down to the, to the feet, we see a decreased temperature because both areas don't have muscles. They have only tendons and ligaments, uh, which have less blood supply. As we, we can see uh, here, the warmest area is represented in the neck area, especially in the head area, because um, here we have uh, less uh, code and that code is very thin and also the neck area is warm where we have a lot of muscles uh, also we can see quite a lot of heat in the shoulder area which also is covered in a, in the muscles the area of the feet like in the area of the coronary band is always has to be warm because here we have an artery before conducting a thermographic scan it's crucial to prepare the environment where the exam will be taking place External environmental conditions have a significant impact on body surface temperature distribution. Ideal ambient temperature for thermographic examination is about 68 degrees within a range of 53 uh, up to 77 degrees. Artifacts like heat sources from sunlight, lamps, heaters should be definitely eliminated. Uh, any air drafts should be avoided because some even barely noticeable air movements are able to decrease body surface temperature, especially in the distal parts of the limbs. Windows also should be covered and doors closed. Proper preparation of the horse is equally important. Four things which you have to take under consideration to prepare the horse for thermographic examination. Decent uh, grooming the horse, preparing the mane, preparing the tail and also uh, cleaning the feet. A thermographic exam should always be performed on a horse at rest and before training to avoid changes in body temperature and blood circulation. Ideally, this should be in the morning uh, after the horse has rested in the stable. It is recommended to acclimate uh, the horse for 20 minutes, probably the imaging in the room where the thermography will take place. A longer period of acclimate might be required in cases where the animal is transported from the extreme cold or hot environment. The horse must have a clean, dry hair coat and should be groomed at least one hour before the examination. Artifacts can be produced by any material on a body like dirt, thick coat, scars, 
Rugs, blankets and other covering should be removed at least 30 minutes before the examination. The mane should be plaited before examination. The tail should be uh, also plaited and protected. Any physical therapy like acupuncture, massage should be avoided at least one week before thermographic examination. If your horse does receive any physical therapy, then the person who is taking the thermographic images should know about that. Once there is a suspected injury localized, then further diagnoses are needed, like ultrasonography, radiography. Once we localize the injury, the vet should come and do his uh, basic uh, examination and then one horse is recovered, you know, he's coming back to work, then we can um, monitor with thermography the healing process. When a horse is in rehab, Maria monitors its progress by looking for active inflammation in the tissues. If we have a tissue active, then of course this means that it's, the tissue is still recovering. So maybe that tells us to introduce a little bit of less work to the horse. And once we don't really see any heat in the injured tissue, then it means that everything has completely recovered and then we can introduce the horse, you know, a proper work. One of the things that makes thermography unique is the potential to detect subclinical inflammation, meaning it may be able to detect heat before your horse shows signs of lameness or discomfort. We can detect that very early stage of inflammation even up to two or three weeks before the appearance of clinical sign of inflammation. And therefore, we can prevent, uh, protect the horse from serious injury. Thermography is also used to monitor sport horses. Thermography we can use in sport performance to uh, monitor uh, areas of the horse body which are prone for frequent injuries, so especially distal parts of the limbs and also of the back. As we use the horse for training, we can detect before the training if uh, superficial temperature distribution has changed, if we can see any areas of increased temperature which could like, indicate um, you know, future injury in a horse. Thermography can be also very helpful in the saddle fit assessment because it can indicate pressure points uh, caused by improper fitted saddle. If you find our videos helpful on your path to compassionate horsemanship, we invite you to join our community. For more videos and information, please visit our website at equitopiacenter.com.